Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming and I am here today to share my latest Traveler's Notebook with you. Uh, this is a Traveler's Notebook that I received and subscribed to with um, or from Studio Calico. I, this was their first kit that they sold. It's a new a kit that they're selling, the Traveler's Notebook kit, and this was the very first one. So um, I've never subscribed to um, any subscription um, service before, and uh, when I saw the Traveler's Notebook, I I've been looking at Studio Calico. I did buy a scrapbook kit from them that was on clearance, but I have never subscribed to anything. So. When I saw the Traveler's Notebook was coming out, I'm just I love Traveler's Notebook, so I wanted to try it. And their price I thought was decent too. So I got the first kit and when I got it I wasn't sure what to what I was gonna do with it. I was thinking I'd use it for myself, but then um it kind of as I looked at it, I decided I and it kind of told me what to do with it. It told me it wanted me to redo it and it told me how to do it exactly so this is what it told me um, it told me to take the staples out because um, it came with two staples that were holding it together and it told me to add pages to it because I felt like I like to put as many pages when I make my own traveler's notebooks I like to put as many pages as I can in there and I feel like, you know, why not? Why not put as many pages as you can? Um, you know, why have half the, many, half the pages that you, you can put in a traveler's notebook? I want to get everything I can uh, into and out of my traveler's notebook. So that's what I did. I left the uh, front and back covers. They have this rainbow kind of... Uh, pattern on it and with uh, the different colors. I'm, gonna, I'm calling it a rainbow. And it had this frame on it which is really cool for whatever you want to put in there. Um, the name of, if you're using it for a traveler's journal, the name of the place you visited or maybe a date. Your name. If you're using it for a grat gratitude journal or something, you, maybe you want to put um, gratitude or thanks or memories on there. So there's so many things you could put in that little frame. So I left that as is. I added pages and then I did a stitching here, a hand sewn stitch stitching to hold it all together. And this is a sturdy cord that I used to uh, stitch it together with. There's the center. And you can always cut off these strings if you don't like those. Some people like them so I'll leave them and then leave it up to you to um, decide if you want to cut it off. So I did add into the front and back cover. I added pockets and there's journaling cards that I made here from cutoffs from the pages that I added. That's the front and that's the back. And with some more journaling cards. And this is graph paper. I'll just hold up once so you can see um, the grid. And so there's a lot of that throughout here, which came. Those are the graph paper is the or pattern is the pages that came with it. And then there's other, of course, pattern pages that came with it. And the pages that I added and the pages that came with it are all kind of like a sturdy, almost like a cardstock instead of just paper. It's a sturdy kind of like almost cardstock feel. So they're good sturdy pages. And then, so we'll just go through a quick flip through here. Um, this is a page I added. It says today on it. It's kind of a brownish, kind of has shading on it. And it says, uh, the, all the words on there say today. So it's little todays all over that page. And on the back I put a tuck spot here with a journaling card. And then some more of that graph design. And then here a tuck spot with a journaling card. This is a page I added. An envelope here with one of my handmade sale tags. And then let me get that back in there. 
and then this is a page that came with it. Uh, I'm going to call that a palm leaf with little dots on there. They look like you took somebody took a paintbrush and just put little dots all over there because they're not perfectly round. So that, I think that's really cool. Okay, and then you'll see washi here, and that's there because I added a flip out on here on this side. It's a whole page flip out, so you can have lots of room here to add your things and have fun with. This um, is a page here that looks like a wood, and then this is a page that I added, and then over here a flip up. You can journal in there, and then this is a tag that I made. This is another graph that came with it, and this, you know, opposite, of course, this was opposite of the graph, and this is kind of an ombre rainbow pattern here. Real pretty, looks like a sky, looks like clouds. Here's a tuck, side tuck or side pocket with a journal card and another little journal card I made with a ta ticket tab, and this says to do, and it has lines on there to write on. And then on this side. So what this journal said to me was to leave it blank. I mean, I did put the pockets and the tuck spots and everything in here, but it told me to leave it blank. It just the pages were so pretty that I wanted to let whoever gets this, plus I'm including lots of goodies for you to be able to put your own touches on it, put in your own memories and pictures, and just just go to town and have fun, fun with this one. So this is a pa paper I put in. Some graph, some of the graph here. This pa page came with it. It says here, a little arrow pointing down. So that would be really cute to put a picture right there, or something else that you want to spotlight. And then graph on this side. This page, I hold it up because I want to make sure you see the pattern on here. It's uh, pink with a dark, like dark pink and almost reddish little um, pictures of chair, a hat, looks like a hat, looks like a hat with sunglasses to me. <laughs> sunglasses, fruit, a cup with the ice and a straw, popsicle, flip-flops, cactus, ice cream cone. So lots of fun little pictures on there. And these squares say today, tomorrow, and someday. And then this side, do what makes you, do what makes your soul happy. And I love this paper here with the uh, lines. It's like an aqua, a light aqua. And it has numbers 1 through 24. And it reminds me of the old computer paper that you used to come, used to come through the printers. That was a long time ago. But um, I actually got some the other day. I found some at my office and I brought it home and I used it all up in my journals already. <laughs> the journals that I make and sell. So... It's gone, but I, I keep my eye out for stuff like that. Um, but that's pretty paper there, and this is also kind of a checkered or a plaidish kind of red and white design on these two pages that came with the with the traveler's notebook that from Studio Calico. This did too. Love it here, and the graph. This is some fruit, um, little designs here, and some graph, and that's the middle of the signature or traveler's notebook. This is like an um, eight and a quarter and five and a quarter, I believe, size on the, you know, on the, uh, this size here. So it gives you good sizes on the inside. This is morning and evening here on these pages. And this is little uh, pink with little arrows all over, like dark pink arrows. And the graph over here. Um, the lines, thin lines, and today's happiness, it says right here. So lots of room for whatever you want to put in here. This is a rainbow of polka dots, really pretty. Graph. And little tiny polka dots all over a white background and this is weekend stories here and you'll see the um, arrow theme is kind of throughout this so I think that's really cool I like arrows this page reminds me of bubbles like you would see in soda on the side of your glass but they're colored so very cool and then this is graph little kind of rainbow of polka dots so that's another theme that's throughout 
arrows, the rainbow colors. And this is a page I put in, really pretty. And a side pocket here with another journaling card. And this over here, I just wanted to leave Make sure you have lots of space in here, and all, like I said, I like to put in all the pages I can and room for you to tuck in things. So, this is a double fold out, so it's attached with washi, and then it folds out and folds out. <laughs> so, lots and lots of room there for pictures and writing. Now, these, um, this page I think is cool because it's got a purple background with pink and white splotches and they look like that dot there are several different dots or polka dots throughout this and this looks like somebody just took a paintbrush and splotch 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 so that there's another page that I showed you that looks like paint and that really does look like paint on there so that's cool so in this page is a tuck spot one of my journaling cards it's got lines on the back and uh, flip up here for writing the wood look page fruit little fruits on a kind of a navy blue background the graph there's a little paper bag and you can decorate this or put whatever you want on there a label a picture and it says a tuck there and a tuck there so two spots there some paper that I put in a uh, side little corner pocket here with some cutoffs. There's three pieces there. And right here, the next page, kind of an ombre of peach dark to light. And then a side tuck here with a journaling card. It says, Today is a gift. Some more of that Today paper. And then this is the back page or the back cover with the journaling cards. So that's the Traveler's Notebook, and I always throw in a bunch of goodies when I, um, you know, surprise goodies with my Traveler's Notebooks, but I will show you, I'm not going to show you the, the extra goodies because that's, a, because that's a surprise, but with this one I'm throwing in some of the things from the Studio Calico kit, so you'll get the bag with these stickers, there's a sheet of these um, stickers here, little bubble, you know, quote bubbles and cute little things that says today on the schedule, don't forget um, to do PM this now. Today is the perfect day for a fresh start. So the sticker's going to be in this bag. Um, another sheet of stickers here will come with this. These are little numbers and stars and hearts and and um, M for stands and leaves and just all kinds of fun stuff and then another sheet of stickers that's coming with it these are cool because when you put them the clear part of them when you put them on whatever your color or if you put them on white or whatever the color shows through these clear parts of that that's really cool I've never used these kind of stickers before but I think they are going to be fun and really cool to look at to you know in your layout or whatever um, that you you do on your page they're going to look cool and stand out and so these transparencies are coming also in this bag there's like a it can be a whatever you want a plus an X you know cross or whatever and then yellow star a big pink card a pink triangle or purple a little star a M for Stan, I guess that is. I don't know. Or no, that's an S. I think that I'll call that an asterisk. But it's blue. And this looks like a bluish, light bluish heart. And then, so that's going to be in that bag. And then I have another little bag that I'm going to put in with it. And these are two little mountable stamps that came with the um, Studio Calico kit. So I'm putting these in here. And this is a little heart, like a heart quote right here. And this is like a little dot. So you can make, you know how it has a polka dot theme throughout. You can make some more of your dots with that little stamp right there. So that, I thought that would be fun. So that's going to be that. And then my surprise goodies that I always throw in. So that's going to be in my shop. It's already in my shop. 
but I will put the link in uh, after I get this video up. But um, that will be lots of fun. And then, um, instead of doing a separate little haul video, I wanted to just show three more things real quick. So I'll push that over to the side. And I wanted to show you these cards I got at Walmart. I hadn't seen them before, and I hadn't seen anybody else show them. So I thought, well, I'll just show them real quick in case somebody, you know, is, wants to get some of these. Because I think they're going to be a lot of fun. And um, I absolutely love them. That's why I bought them. The price was decent. And they're at Walmart with, you know, in the office supply part. Um, in that aisle with the other index cards. And what it is, is an index card lined on both sides with a tab. I was like blown away. <laughs> I had seen these before and I saw them and I love them. I love the colors. I mean, there's different colors. There's like, you know, other index cards, regular index cards that are brighter colors, which I like. But I like, I love these colors. They're like a buttery yellow. The um, pink is kind of a rosy pink. And a blue, light blue. And this kind of medium minty green. So pretty. And with the tabs, I just thought there's all kind of uses you can do with these so I'm going to be using those in my journals that I make and then the other thing that I found today at Dollar Tree I thought these were pretty cool I was looking for the zipper pouches which I have not seen have not seen in forever so but I found these I thought I'll try I try these out and what they are they come two to a, to a package so two for one dollar and they um, are envelopes that are clear so I like anything clear for storage and so you you know open it up it snaps back together and you can you know use them in a box or in a notebook because they've got these um, these holes here in the bottom but what it is is you just pull this out a little bit this little pink part on the bottom they come in different colors there's blue and green I got the pink, but um, you just pull that out a little bit. There's little plastic things inside this part right here that's on the front and the back. And so you reach in there, you pull this out until it catches on those little, kind of like a little tab in there, a little plastic tab. And then your holes are exposed so you can put it into a three ring binder and so it would be cool if you were going to store like something like maybe your stickers in a three ring binder and then you have them in your clear you know envelope and then you can flip through whatever you're storing in here and see and pick out what you need so good for a notebook or a box so pretty cool I thought I'd try them out so that's two things and the other thing was I have these in my shop now too I was gonna buy some tags I've been just dying to get some of the vintage sales tags that I've been seeing on Etsy and other places and I keep looking at them and saying I'm going to order them and then I never do and I was so like this week I was looking at them and I admiring them and saying I've got to got to get some of those I've got to I've just got to you know break down and buy some but then as I was looking at them I was like geez I could make those I could just make them I already had all this cardstock in these colors and I was like I'm just gonna make some with my um, cardstock and see how they come out so I thought they came out very adorable. <laughs> I think they're really cute. I'm going to be using them in my own journals that I make, put in my Etsy shop, but I am also going to, I listed some in my Etsy shop because I thought they came out so cute. And what they say on them is um, I just copied, you know, one that I saw and it says, I added this sale because it didn't have sale on the ones that I saw, but it did have style, size, and price. And it had, um, like less lines so I add more lines you know so people could write on them so 
They got they have the sale style price size and price on the front and blank on the back. So lots of room on the back for something and then the lines on the front. And they're just fun to um put in your journals and just have something a little different in there. And then I've got the different colors here. I've got the red, and this is kind of a bright Kelly green. I've got this orange, and this is um, this is pink. I don't know if you can see it real well there in the camera. The colors, I don't know if they come through. Sometimes the colors don't come through what I'm seeing. <laughs> they look different in the on the video, but that is a a light pink, I would describe it as. It's almost violet, but it's more pinky, so I'm saying it's pink. <laughs> I'm going with it. It's pink. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed that video. And have a good night. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Just put it down in the comments. And hit hit um, subscribe. Hit the little bell beside so you can get notif notified of my videos. And give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And um, any kind comments. I just love, love reading them. And I always reply. And... It's just really exciting for the people that do videos to get some feedback, some positive feedback and kind comments. So thanks and have a great night. I won't keep you any longer. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.